Hi everyone, this is Alejandro from the video game Stage Remaker. In this video I want to show you how we turn the playable character for Sunset Riders from a high poly model into a low poly one. The character we choose for this remake is Cormano, and we chose him because it was our favorite out of the four playable characters from the arcades, and I think it's a fan favorite too. So here we are in Blender, and this is the full 3D high poly character. It was modeled by Jumir Mammon, and we are very grateful that he let us use it on our project. You can see his work on ArtStation, he did a tremendous work on the character, you can see how detailed it is. It has almost 3.5 million faces, so I'll leave a link in the description to his profile. Ok, so I'm switching to edit mode. Ok, if I zoom in you will see the faces, it's really detailed. So to be able to bring this model to Unreal Engine we had to make a low poly version of it because there's no way this one could make it into the engine. I mean, maybe it can but that would not help at all with optimization so this right here was my first challenge. I have little to none experience in modeling so I had to learn about retopology, texturing, UV mapping and baking the textures to single maps. Uh, it was pretty fun, hard, but fun in the end, and that's the whole idea with this project, to learn as much as possible. So let me show you what I did to turn this into a low poly model. First I had to split the high poly model into parts, uh, here is the head, sombrero, details on it, body, poncho, gloves, boots, and everything else. This part wasn't too hard because the model itself was made out of different parts joined together. Next I had to decimate the whole character just a little bit so I could work with a model that's not so heavy but still had all the details from the original. So let's go to my second file. Ok, this is the decimated model. It still has over a million faces but now with this model I was able to work faster. So next I textured every single part of it, so if we change to material preview you can see the character fully textured. I tried to be faithful to the original colors and to do this I used textures from a really cool site with a lot of high quality textures. It's called 3D Textures That Me and the best part of it is the fact that you can download all the textures for free, although you can always donate if you want so I'll leave that link in the description as well. Let's go to shading, up here. This is every material with all the channels needed. That's diffuse, roughness, normal and anything needed. I think it looks really cool. Up until this point everything looks really easy and straightforward, but the next step was to turn all of this into a low poly model. And this part just gave me nightmares, because the first time I tried with the decimate modifier, which is a really cool modifier, you just press a button and it brings down the poly count. The thing is, you have to know when to stop, because otherwise your model can turn out to be really bad. And besides, the UV maps just got all messed up. So after spending a couple of days doing this with every part of the character, I realized it wasn't the best solution, so I started over with another approach and this time I retopologized the whole character. So let's go back to modeling and I'll bring the low poly version here so you can compare it to the high poly one. As you can see, it's a lot more simpler. I tried to take out as much geometry as I could. If I turn to wireframe, it shows much better. So this second model turned out to be below 5000 faces and compared to the 3.5 version it's a lot better. So let's see. Everything is really close in global geometry but the details are missing. Like here on the sombrero, the poncho or the gloves. All of it is really simple. But if we go down here to the belt I think I should have left a little more details because the bullets here on the high poly one are way too separate from each other, and on the other side the low poly one 
I tried to make something really simple, but I went too far and the result is not the best. So the match turned out to be too different from the high poly one. So the normals looks a little weird. But as far as gameplay goes, that won't be a problem because you won't be able to see it. After all, it's a matter of balance and for a first time I think it's good enough. So that's it for retopology. If you want to learn how to retopo a character, I'll leave a link in the description to a really good channel called Flip Normals. So looking pretty awful, right? Here comes normal maps. It's really amazing what normal maps can do. You can take all the details from the high poly model and bake it to the low poly one. It's kind of tricky though, because as I said before, your global low poly geometry can be too different from the high poly one, or your map will be a disaster, as it happened to the bullets on the belt. Of course, to do this, you need a UV map. So after making the retopo model, I made UV maps for every part of the character, and then baked the high poly details on every part of the low poly one, and in the end, joined them together to a single match. If we go to UV editing right here, uh, we can see what happens. It's a real mess. So I made a new UV map and reorganized everything so it made more sense. Okay, let's go back to modeling and change to material preview. Here we can see the model with normal supply. You can't really notice the difference with the high poly model anymore. But if we go to the belt, you'll see what I was talking before. It looks really bad. So if you take a look here, yeah, it looks really bad. But if we zoom out, it's not really noticeable. So finally, it's time to bake every texture to a single one. So in the end, the model will only have one material with four or five textures. And to do this, I recommend Grant Avid. He has a really good collection of Blender tutorials, and that's another link right to the description. So, from every single material, I had to bake all the maps I needed to single textures, but this process is not so complicated. I did it with the Barbarian for our Ninja Gaiden remake. Okay, let's see how it looks with all the maps applied. Let's go to Shading and reconnect all the maps that I disconnected before. Here is color, metal, specular, roughness, and that's it. So let's go back to modeling, and this is it. The character is fully done. I think it looks really good compared to the high poly one, and this will save us a lot of resources on the game. So now the character is ready to be rigged. But that's another story. Okay, I think that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and if you like our content, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon with another update on our remakes.